And earlier this week, Illinois Attorney General Kwame Raoul announced the creation of a new unit that will work to investigate cases where conviction may be in question. The Conviction Integrity Unit will look into claims of innocence and determine if there's credible evidence to prove the innocence of people serving time in prison. Joining us live now to talk about it is Illinois Attorney General Kwame Raoul. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So this unit is the first of its kind in Illinois, very unique in the country as well. Tell us about why you wanted to create it and how it'll work. Yeah, so, so, so to clarify, it's the first state statewide unit. There are conviction integrity units within, the, for instance, the Cook County State's Attorney's Office, the Lake County uh, State's Attorney's Office, but there are over 100, there's 102 state's attorney's offices throughout the state, and the vast majority of them do not have uh, conviction integrity units. Um, while I'm confident that the vast majority of prosecutions are uh, appro appropriately conducted and result in injustice and accountability, uh, we have been known to get it wrong in the past. And um, a single case of a wrongful conviction undermines the public's confidence in uh, the criminal justice system. And so making sure that we have everything available uh, to make sure that innocent people have every opportunity to establish their innocence um, lifts up the credibility of our criminal justice system overall. And you met with 71 state's attorneys to gather some input and also offer resources to review these possible wrongful conviction cases. What was the feedback and how do you plan to work with them? Yeah, it's, it, it's important to have had the buy-in of uh, fellow prosecutors across the state. I didn't want anybody to feel that we were doing this because we didn't have the confidence in, in um, our partner uh, prosecutors across the state. Mm -hmm. So it was important to do the outreach before. Um, you know, I knew at the outset of my tenure that I wanted to establish a unit, but we were very deliberate and we took our time. Uh, other colleagues of mine who started as AG at the same time as I did around the country, they, have, they established theirs a few years ago. But we were very deliberate in wanting to meet with prosecutors around the state because we didn't want anybody to uh, question uh, the intention and we wanted to make sure we got it right. So according to the National Registry of Exonerations, Illinois is among the states with the highest number of them, 555 exonerations since 1989. So how will this unit address and reduce the rate of wrongful convictions and how will it work? Well, it's important to, as we look at that exoneration rate, it, you know, it could be a, you know, a positive reflection or a negative reflection. Mm -hmm. uh, it might reflect that we've already done a better job than other states um, making sure that we give people the opportunity uh, to clear clear their name and clear and, and be exonerated. Um, but it also may reflect that uh, we've we've made mistakes in in our law in our uh, criminal justice system his, historically. And so um, we've got to appreciate both things. you know uh, the Cook County State's Attorney's Office, has done a, an admirable job with their conviction and integrity unit. Um, but we're a big state uh, and we have to cover the entire state. And so we will give um, those who uh, feel that they have a claim of innocence um, an opportunity to uh, file an application with our office. Um, they have to be incarcerated. Um, and um, we will review those applications and um, the conviction integrity unit after reviewing those applications will make a recommendation to me and then um, once i get that recommendation i review it and then i will consult with the res uh, respective uh, state's attorney and really quickly before we go can you tell us where people can find those applications and also how is this being funded i know it's a lot of work that's going to be put into this yeah, so in part, it is funded by a Department of Justice grant that uh, we received. It's a $1.5 million grant over three years. Wow. Um, you know, I have been asked the question of um, what, what, what do I do if uh, the new administration does a reverse course on that? We're committed to this uh, long term. So uh, regardless of whether the Department of Justice grant continues, 
uh, we're com committed to this mission. Uh, yes, with the Trump administration coming in in just a few months, things could potentially change there. So we'll have to stay in touch and see how things progress. Illinois Attorney General Kwame Raoul, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate your time. Thank you for having me.